Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I will be doing a video on the movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Before I start, my shirt. God of Christmas. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so yeah, as far as review goes, you know, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and the actual rate. So yeah, oh, quick, um, so yeah. Basically, this movie um, is directed by Ben Stiller, and he's also the lead in this movie. The other, the other, the only other two top actors um, in this movie would be Chris, Kristen Wiig, or Wig, playing his love interest, Cheryl Ma Melhoff, and John Daly. Dally playing like the antagonist type of person, um, which is Tim Tim Nowton Nowton. Um, so yeah, basically, this movie follows Walter Mitty, um, who's an who daydreams a lot. Um, in my opinion, I think he's got some kind of mental disability, but that's to be further explained, whatever. Um Basically, a daydream dreamer named Walter Mitty, who daydreams about romance and being a hero, a hero, and then mostly romance. But he does daydream about a little bit about being a hero, or going off in an, in an adventure, and yeah. So the, he works at um Life magazine. So does um his love love interest and his antagonist. Basically, um, for the final cover issue for life, um, he basically mm, misplaced it or lost it, and yeah, so he's trying to find it with a couple clues of the three pictures. The three pictures. He goes off on this adventure to go, you know, to go and to find the this other missing negative picture I'm um, using the pictures he already some of the pictures he already has with him on his adventure he you know gets more clues as to how to find the find this picture he's basically trying to locate the one who who you know made the picture which was I forget his name I S O was was his initials. Um. Yeah, but I don't remember who it was. Um. Oh yeah. Here I've searched searched up. Um. Sheen O'Connell, I believe it was. I'm not sure. Um. Pretty sure it's this Sheen O'Connell. Um. Character. Yeah. So basically, he's you know he's basically the per person he's supposed to locate that supposedly has his picture. You know, he goes on this adventure, you know, which is all right, and he eventually does locate this Shino Connell. Um, it's got a very weird twist ending, in my opinion, because. When in the, when the beginning of this movie, it was um, Walter Mitty's birthday, okay, um, he received this wallet from him, and inside it had the motto of Life magazine, which I don't know, I, it's supposed to be, I don't know, and it has the missing picture, so it's kind of like this, mother, like this, you're such a dick type of, um, just ending, like, why would you do this to me? How could you type of ending? And it's worse because he threw away the picture, well, the wallet, which contained the picture in it. Supposedly, it was in the, like, one of the pockets. And, yeah. At the end of the movie, he eventually does retrieve the wallet because his mom got it. He likes to keep all his, what she refers to, knickknacks, you know, how moms are. So, keep all their children's stuff. So she saved it from being chucked away, you know, taken to the dumpster and whatever. Um, and then you get the last issue. Well, 
last issue of um Life magazine. And basically it's a pretty the cover yeah, is basically of this want the Walter Mitty character sitting on a like by a fountain looking at other negatives. Yeah. Now this movie was had its ups and downs. I mean it can be safe to assume that this Shino Connell character and this Walter Mitty character may have known each other um for a long 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 while. Um the was this running gag throughout the movie is he, since he has failed love life um with, with Cheryl was I believe was her name you know they both had eHarmony so they called one of the eHarmony agents or whatever you know I can't send this wink why what's happening and it's just this recurring joke that every now and then though this eHarmony guy named Todd I believe um We'll call and talk and talk about his profile. It's very funny. Um, and yeah, but besides that, I mean, the writing's okay, the acting's okay, but it's a little bit lackluster in my opinion. I mean, there are some parts that could have been better. And I do like the chemistry between Cheryl and um, um, and Walter. It was good to an extent. I mean, parts just it just kind of bored me. And yeah, I mean, I mean, but I do think Walter is an interesting character. I mean, he could skateboard, and you know, and just to take more well, besides that, he took on this whole adventure because he went from, I'm gonna say New York, some big city in the U.S., all the way to Greenland, then to then to Iceland. I mean, and yeah, I mean, this movie did have some pretty cool action scenes. And yeah, I mean, the war parts, I mean, one or two of the action scenes were more of Walter's imagination, but, you know, either way, they were pretty cool. I mean, except for the first one, which is actually in the trailer, um, in which, you know, he's jumping into this, through the boat, and seeing this dog, and, you know, he walks out. That one, that one was a bit far-fetched, even for his imagination, so, but, you know. Yeah, well, it was okay. I mean, this movie will, uh, it had its moment. It was decent. I mean, some parts were very lackluster. I mean, at some points, the acting just didn't seem right. Neither was the writing didn't seem right. Um, at some parts, the acting just seemed like bored. Like the people were just bored to do it. Like just doing it to do it. I mean, and there were parts that were okay. Um. In the beginning, well, it could have been better, in my opinion. I mean, it was kind of funny, but it could have been better, in my opinion. Um, the ending could have also been a little bit better, in my opinion. I mean, but I did like the interaction between Walter and all the other characters. And he did meet many other random people throughout this trip. I mean, he met this guy on a plane. Um, he met this car dealer. He met a helicopter pilot. He met this one like sailor. He met after the sailor who did he meet? These three kids on and they were playing with a skateboard and he met this one hotel manager manager and I think that was it. Oh, two Indians, um Yemen Indians or whatever. Or Indians overall, and then he met. Uh, he eventually did meet Todd, which was the eHarmony agent who helped him. And he met two policemen because he got arrested. <laughs> it's, that that scene was pretty funny. So I don't understand why it had to be X-ray. I think it was because of the airport security thing, but and eh, but the CGI for that didn't seem wasn't it was okay. It seemed more for like a video game. It was still a pretty funny scene. <laughs> scene. Um, yeah. Um, and at the end, he ends up in LA and then goes back to like New York. The, as, yeah, I mean, I think all the characters, uh, in my opinion, the top four characters from who I like the best to who I like the most would have to be the Cheryl, which was the um, love, no, the love life, um. 
him. Wait, give me a second. Tim or Ted? Yeah, Tim. Um, Ted. And then Walter, I mean. I mean, but even after that, they weren't even, they, were, they didn't seem memorable to me. I mean, you know, one just has an imagination problem, the other one has a son. The other one's just a douchebag, and the other one's a e harmony agent. I mean, all of them, they all seem lackluster. I mean, this movie, I mean, it's not action packed as it should have been. I mean, yeah, it's not really an action movie, but more of one of those drama movies. I mean, it didn't even have that much drama. I mean, in my opinion, it's good, but because I don't really like drama movies. For like, a, for like a drama buff, it doesn't have enough drama. And the comedies are like, like, um, like, bittersweet, so. I mean, some of them are very funny, not very funny, but actually one of them is very funny, but some of them are like, <laughs> chuckle. Um, and just some of them are like, a little bit better or stale. Um, yeah, in my opinion, this movie doesn't, it's, it lacks originality, um, it lacks originality, and, I want to say it's a terrible movie, it's an okay movie, and, yeah, uh, I mean, just, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'd have to put this at a five. I mean, it's a bit lackluster. I mean, you, it does have its good moments, but it's just overall lackluster. I mean, it's, at some parts, it's just poorly written or poorly acted. Um, I'm trying to do something on my TV. Sorry. And it's just some parts just seem unoriginal. I mean, there are a few cliches. I mean, here and there. So it's just lackluster overall. So five out of ten is what I would give it. So yeah, this is Daniel Mark. Comment below on what your thoughts on this movie is. If you watched it already, do you think it was better than a five or you know worse than a five? Give your reasons why. Um, subscribe. I do. I do other movie reviews and I also do comic book reviews and I also review TV shows. And yeah, um, lost my train of thought for thought for some reason. Or was I? And yeah. Um, to your friends, families, and neighbors about me, and if you want the movie, no, I would recommend it. Um, um, yeah, share on, on Facebook, Instagram, via MySpace, Twitter, or whatever you guys prefer. And yeah, this is Daniel Mart signing off.